Good morning everyone, welcome back to GSP Sea Fishing and welcome to Chesil Beach. I'm joined today by Pete, who is just over there in the background, casting his rod. We're gonna call him, he's got an abbreviated name now, he's called Pup. Mark come up with it, Pack Up Pete. So we're gonna call him Pup from now on. He always packs up early. And the army there is Mark. And I think he's just cast out as well. And he's just setting his second rod up. We've all come with two rods. Unfortunately, I can't fish with my second one unless I manage to bodge something together. In transit, my reel handle has lost the holding screw and it's just falling out. So, I'm gonna try maybe and undo a screw off one of the side plates, see if I can hold it in place, or do something to hold it in place. I might be able to fish with it without. Um, it's gonna be hard work, but um, it's just one of those things. Anyway, so it's Sunday morning today. Weather's gonna be nice. It's been blowing the rest of the weekend. Yesterday it was really blowy here from the southwest. Today, it's about 10 miles an hour from the southwest, so the wind is good. High tide is around 10 a.m. We're here for about, well, it's about seven o'clock now. Um, we left at three o'clock this morning from Canterbury, and um, it's taken us about three and a half hours to get here, and then walk along the beach. We're about a kilometer from Abbotsbury, a kilometer to the east from Abbotsbury. Uh, the pressure today, air pressure is really good for fishing. Um, the tide is really good for fishing. Let's just hope there's some fish about. The sea, it's got a bit of colour, it's nice and rough, not too rough, not too dangerous. This is Chesil. You can get real big swells at Chesil. It can be dangerous, you've got to have your wits about you and, uh, and just keep your eye on the sea because um, there'll be that one rogue wave that can sweep you off your feet and you'll be straight in that sea with, without second thought. Anyway, I've got one rod set up. One rod is set up. I've got the Sonic Gravity HT, that is set up. I've got that going down to my long range rig, which is clipped on with one of the Genie Extra Strength clips. And then we've got the SRT spring that keeps the hook snood down tight against the bait shield when casting. And on the bottom, just for extra bit of security, I'll put a lead lift to a six ounce breakaway. So, that's going out now. So let's just have a look at the bait that I'm putting on there. And then we'll get it out and get fishing. Right, here is my first bait that's gonna go on to my long range rig. I've got three um, fresh blacks on here. These are from Bill's Bait and Tackle down in Dover. Got these yesterday. So um, for black lug, dungy lug, whatever you wanna call them. And I tip them off with two small squid head. Let's get them on now, show you how it looks. So I've got a nice big size four, four hour on this uh, long range rig. I'm just gonna put the end in the hole, push these worms up, ease it over the eye of the hook. Like so, there you go. That's on there. Got two little squid head. Let's get them on. One. Two. And that is my bait. Beautiful big lug and squid cocktail. Get that clipped up and we'll get that out now. Well, first one is out after a disaster. I snapped off and the cast was awful. Second cast, uh, but it's out. Have a look, see if I can fix the other one. So, this is extremely frustrating. Um, I can't get that to fix in there at all. But the most frustrating thing about it actually is the fact that this 
is meant to fold. Um, so you undo the the cap off the end on one side. Obviously you can change it around, it's interchangeable, but you can fold it down. And that's going to be the most annoying thing about using this. I could use it like that. So what I'm going to do is try it, because all I've got is tape. I always carry tape. I'm going to try and tape that closed so it doesn't fold. And then hopefully I can just use it, I can take it out while the reel is... Uh, in the in the rod rest, I can take this actually out the handle and put it in my tray, so it doesn't just fall out. And then I can insert it and reel it in. I think I think this is my only way. So I'm going to do that. Put a couple of bits over the top. It's the only option I've got really. Do that like that. Bit of improvisation allow me to fish two rods and as I'm sitting here all this bait traveling all this way not being able to fish which is extremely frustrating it's always handy to carry electrical tape with you there we go right that should now hopefully just allow me to insert that in there, like that. Yeah, there we go, and I can reel. I've just got to make sure I keep it in there, done. Let's get this set up. So now, I've set up my second rod. That is the Synetic Crosspower Heavy. I've just clipped on a two hook clip rig onto that. And then I have opened up my packet of common lug. And I'm just gonna thread a common lug on each hook. Tip it off with squid, very simple, and then cast that out into the abyss, fishing with two rods, finally. Well, on the two hook flap up, I'm basically just gonna put common lug, tip it with a bit of squid, get it out, and see what I can get. Very simple. Now, what I'm going to have to do with this rod here, which is a bit of a nightmare, is get this wound in to where I want to cast, which is about there. And then I'm going to have to take my handle out, leave it there, because I don't want that handle going into the sea. So there we are, I'm set. I'm going to walk down and cast this out. Well, I'm finally fishing two rods. Someone else who is fishing two rods is Mark. Hello, Wolf. How are we doing? Here he is. <laughs> Just had a bite on you, mate. Yeah. Just a couple oh. little pulls down to the front part, but I'll leave it. Oh, mate, right. you've got a snap ceramic on that. On your second tip. See the second guide? Oh, yeah. Your ceramic snaps. Oh. The insert, but you have got a bite. I know a man who can sort that out. You know a man who can sort that out, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that man might be busy. Yeah. That man's having a nightmare today. <laughs> really is. Having a complete and utter nightmare. But we're all fishing. Pete's had a bite. It's a little bit slow, but chisel could be a lot worse. Yeah. Next we're here, aren't we? We're here, we're fishing. Yeah. We got here. Well, sitting here, we're not much going on. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really know what I'm fishing for. The uh, last couple of weeks have seen some cod coming off here, but I think they've moved out now. The water's a little bit coloured, but nothing, nothing um, chocolatey enough to, to bring the cod in in their numbers anymore. Um, I think there might be a chance of some bass. And then I'm scratching around, maybe for bream. Um, 
I'm not too sure. I'm going to get a second uh, fresh bait on the uh, the Sonic on the long range rig. Get that out. But at the moment, it's a little bit slow. Well, this has been pecked, pecked again for the last five minutes. So I'm going to see if it's like, either something's on it or it's been pecked to death. So let's have a look. I don't think there's anything on that. Nope. So I presume there's no bait. <laughs> Bit of weed come through some weed and picked it up. There we go, that is empty. That needs rebaiting and putting back out. I'm going to get the other one in first though. You are! Oh yeah, it's called slack. Yeah. What's going on here? Well, Pete has just called me because this one just flew over. And I've got fish on it. I didn't see it. I was too busy baiting the other one up. I've got a half decent fish on this. Don't know what it is. But we've been here a good... What have we been here? Two and a half hours? And we haven't had a bite. And I'm trying to get this in with my dodgy reel. Which is not easy. But we've got a fish. What is it? Yeah, I can feel it kicking. Come on. First fish on the deck. Hopefully. Glad you're paying attention, Pete. <laughs> I certainly wasn't, was I? Is this a bream? Because this was on mackerel strip. Little mackerel strip on an Aberdeen hook. I'm going to go too hard on this. Especially in this rough sea. Where is it? Please be a bream. A nice bream would be good. Be happy with that. Where is it? Is it a bream? It's a decent fish, whatever it is. It's a decent bream. It's a monster bream. It is a beast of a bream. I'll take that. That's a pound and a half. Yes, that I'm well happy with. That's a good sized bream, that is. I think I will weigh him. Um, a bit of a nightmare. I thought I'd press uh, record on the camera and I had not pressed it to stop. Look at that. Lovely. He's coming home for dinner. Well, that was a welcome fish. Um, I was slowly losing the wheel, giving up, weren't really recording much because it has been very slow. Um, I don't think we've seen, a chap literally turned up about half hour ago and the first cast he got a fish, but we haven't seen any other fish coming out. Uh, there are people fishing. Well, we can see a fair few. Um, happy with that. I've just baited up my other rod, which was what I was doing when I got that boat and didn't realize. And I'm just putting a big long uh, black lug and I've actually bait elastic another black lug to it to keep it instead of getting three hook um, instead of getting three worms threaded up the line and pushing them down I've tried to keep them nice and straight together um, gonna get that out now and then get baited up again with the other one with little tiny mackerel strips may get another couple black green that'd be nice we've got to bite again straight away that's What's going on there? That's knocked. There's bream out here. Come on. Well, I've been getting bites since this has gone out and I want to check it because I don't want to waste time if I haven't got bait on. Definitely nothing on here. I want to 
check this bait, get this back out again, I think. Well, it's still slow, it's still very slow. I've got two baits out now going for green. Hopefully there's a few more about and I'll get hooked into them. We're at high now, just gone high. We've been here nearly four hours with not a lot to show. Well, really don't know what to say. One bream still. We have been on this beach um, for, let me work it out. One, two, three, four, nearly five hours now. Been here for nearly five hours. It is very slow. Um, Mark's not had a thing, Pete's missed one bite. I may have had two bites, got one fish. The gentleman down there had two fish, I think. No one that way I've seen catching at all. I've cast out, brought back in, cast out, brought back in. I've tried mackerel, squid, bluey. Back onto worms now. This beach can be soul destroying. Well, that is the end of another very disappointing session. Marks to the right of me, packing up. Piece to the left of me, packing up. It's hard work this year. I'm gonna take a couple of weeks off. I'm gonna take a couple of weeks off from fishing. Recharge the batteries. Get some enthusiasm back to come. Actually get out and want to fish because at the moment, I feel like I'm just going through the motions and uh, the more I go and get very little back the less effort I want to put in so I'm going to take a couple of weeks but please stay tuned stay uh, locked into the channel because uh, it won't be long and I'll be back out we'll be back out around the Kent coast and further afield trying to get into some decent fish. Anyway, till next time, top lights.